Hello, Cancer. It's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your July, your late, <laughs> belated July reading. My deepest apologies. I have been working a lot. I clean cottages as well as houses and it's cottage season right now. So I'm really busy on the weekends, especially. Um, but anyhow, here we are now, Cancer um happy birthday it's right your birthday time now i hope you're having a really great birthday this year let's see what the cards have to say cancer cancer july 2021 birthday babies what are the messages for cancer for July 2021? They're just not ready, you know. You know, they, they let you know when they're ready. The cards do. They let you know. And sometimes I just got to go a little bit. They are, yeah, I think they're ready now. All right. So we'll put that there, that there, that there. I'm out at camp right now on my porch. And uh, it was a lovely day today. I was out in my paddle boat. I worked as well. And um, it's finally quieted down enough that I can do some videos. So in your recent past, you have the sun. So you've had some sort of success. Uh, been able to feel young again, you know, youthful energy. And it's also about something new because it's the child, right? It's, it's something new and being also being free. You're feeling really free right now. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Let's move these over just a tidgen. Okay, and in your present energy, you have the Three of Wands. Lots of wands here. The world. I'm not surprised to see that, actually, with the Ten of Pentacles here. Strength. Uh, Sir Nunos, the Devil. And the Prince of Pentacles. And in your future, near the end of July, well, actually first week of um, August, you have the Princess of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. That's really good to see. Right beside the Tower. But you don't have to worry because the Nine of Cups, um, you know, dulls any negative cards and this could be an unexpected pleasure an unexpected um you know surprise that's really gives you a lot of happiness and the queen of swords so let's start at the beginning like i said the sun this is such a great beginning it is like birth it's it's freedom youthful energy it's expansion feeling like you're able to do things um you know uh get things done not i don't want to say get things done i want to say create something new in your life a new start kind of thing this is not really the fool energy but it's it's having success it's like getting the key to the gate of being allowed entrance um into something new you know um into something very brilliant too like uh what do i want to say is um Like really shiny, you know. Anyway, I'll think of the word I'm looking for in a minute. Ten of Pentacles. So 
Ten of Pentacles is a, a, about completion, right? There's something that you invested in that it's come to an end. This could be a relationship. It could be a financial relationship. It could be because the king is bored. He's quite bored now and he needs something new to put his energy into, right? He wants to feel young again, that youthful, that that energy in your belly when you're excited, you know? And so he needs something new or some someone new to put his or her energy into. Um, so... And then there is the Queen of Wands. And I have to say the 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 man in this Ten of Pentacles is looking right at her, you know. Um so this could be a fire sign around you or in the recent past, uh Aries, uh Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but with someone with the energy of a doer. This person is a doer. They make things happen, you know. They they take action on what they want, what they want to learn about, you know. They'll ask questions, they'll research, and then they will make it happen. They don't talk about things a lot. Um, they may talk a little bit about them, but action soon follows. Uh, this... She's got her wand in her hand. It's a small wand, but she's ready. You know, she's ready for action. She's very observant, too. You know, she's, um, see the cat underneath her? She's very observant. She's always watching, you know, and um, for the right time to, to strike, you know? So... And this could be the energy that you've had in the recent past is that energy of, of manifesting, making things, able to make something happen, okay? And the sun energy there too. You want something new. You've completed some sort of, I don't know if it's an investment in family, in the home, in a business, um, but whatever it is, you feel you need to move on now. And so you're taking action. You're, you're also contemplating your next move because the, you know, it could, this, the way you did things in the past, you could have gotten hurt or made mistakes or gotten stung in some sort of a way so you're rethinking you know he's sitting up here on the plateau and he can see the whole valley around and so he's assessing what his next move is and like i said the queen of wands is a mover she's action and so um i like that the cat is underneath there because the cat is like this four of wands guy right here you know observant trying to assess, you know, um, this, she watches, she watches, you know, she's, she can see more than with the eyes, let's say. Anyhow, nine of wands. Um, this is feeling defensive. Sometimes uh, it's having a health condition that we're still healing from or could be, you know, in the, in the, you know, just getting over some sort of, you could have had a fall, a break. Um, it's also wounded, I gotta say, and it could be more than, you know, just physically wounded. This could be in other in some other way like i said with this four of swords here there's you got stung in some sort of way here i feel like you know and you can see it here so you could feel defensive you could be really standing your ground not really uh, budging on something here like you you really want to make a move but 
maybe the move is to stand your ground to not budge like that's the action you're taking you know you can see she's sitting here she's not budging until she sees the time to strike you know and the time to strike is about making your move you know uh getting on the horse and and uh taking up that energy of the fool or the or the the three of wands the you know not the three of wands but the chariot i should say you know taking that action getting focused so ha talk about the three of wands here it is in your present energy i didn't even notice to tell you the truth so there he is he's ready you know and again looking out surveying the the options and um ready to make his move but the timing isn't exactly right there like he's waiting eh there's there's something there's a reason he can't make his move yet or you can't make your move yet cancer could be covid related vaccine related could be something to do with that um it could or you know you could be wanting to travel or like i said you're ready to start something new here it's just the fertile beginnings right so i think you've been planning perhaps you had you've had this idea for a while obviously in the ten of pentacles you're thinking and um you've been planning and um you're ready but it's got to be you're figuring out the right path you don't want to get stung again and then the world now the world um is completion it's so cool that it comes under this ten of pentacles completion right ready for something new bored I, i'm i'm very grateful for what i have but i am now bored i need some sort of creative um you know stimulation some sort of stimulation for my mind and and to get me thriving again and so the world is is an end of a life chapter something that you have been doing a life you've had for this long you could be going into a new um stage of life like when we go from child then we go to teenager then we go to adult and parent and you know um and so on so anyway i kind of feel like you're ready to walk through this threshold ready for the new all right I, I I also sense a feeling of patience, like even though you feel like a child and really want to go and just ride and get going. Wow, it's really rainy. You're trying to be smart. I might have to pause the video for a sec here, okay? <laughs> Hold on. All right, it's calmed down a little, so I can resume. It's kind of cool that I did pause for a sec there because I was looking at the cards, and you know how I said that you know you're ending life chapter, and and you could be even um, going to a next life stage. Well, the sun. Is the number 14 very much like the teenager you know just wanting to be free and and all that have fun and you know life's a ball kind of thing um, and then you know next down this way touching is the world which is 21 and that is the next life stage oh Carmela hey stop sorry about that geez all kinds of interruptions <laughs> okay. 
So this is the, this is the next life stage. You're, I think you could be maturing at the same time in this cycle, in this, um, um, you know, this, this, um, transformation you're going through, you know, you're transcending kind of, it may take strength, you know, uh, there's a part of you, you, you're trying to control, okay, you're trying to, um, keep at bay, you're trying to use, um, your your grace you know grace in all situations you're you're you don't want to come in and you know and barge in and because that's what the boar is you know he barges in and just breaks through and and but this this woman is trying to tame that side of herself and it's taking a lot of strength to do that. Now, the boar can just be the wild side of us, you know, this wild side of us that that does need tame and it's gotten out of control. The boar is in control right now and we need to be in control. Our graceful, calm side that handles things with grace. So, um because then you have Sir, no Sir Nunos, and Sir Nunos represents um, temptation. And this temptation is not good for you. It leads you away from your destined path, okay? It could be a test also at this time of transformation. And when you're, you know, you're trying to um get some control you know have strength to see this through but you could be tested you could be tempted and this is you know you have the four of swords right over top of that sir nuno say this is you know the thing you're probably thinking about contemplating your next move and three of these swords are trying to pull you back into this energy and the one on your lap is the new plan the new map the new path you haven't chosen this way or that at this point or in the recent past but you will be tempted okay you will be tempted this temptation could be drugs it could be gambling it could be food it could be sex you know um it's kind of like you when you we look at this couple they're escaping into the woods to have secret passion and it's kind of this um this um you know unbridled passion if you want to say i'm not sure what you know because there's a need here you know or you or or or, or a, a, an emptiness you think you're filling here but it never seems to get felt you know never seems to get felt so the thing is is i think this is what you're working on is trying to break free from the 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 devil energy this um whatever it is you know this temptation that's uh pulling you what i will tell you is that if you it will be your undoing if you do not get a handle on that situation okay I, and, and I don't mean to be bold like that, but the tower is right under this whole line here at the bottom. You know, it's it could be your undoing. So when the tower comes, because it's going to come, you need to decide, is it going to be a good thing happening, a good tower that's going to break you from your cage, from your confines 
or is it going to be a devastating tower because the devil is here to cause trouble all right then you have the prince of pentacles the prince of pentacles is ready for the new path he's decided he's not exactly confident okay you can see him he's behind his shield he feels vulnerable his shoulders are exposed he doesn't have even armor on you know and so and he, his sword is like back like not ready to really fight not ready to really face this but he's there he's on the horse and he's ready he hasn't really moved forward yet but he he will you know and he's taking his time it's going to be one step at a time it's a slow process this it takes time it's not easy you know you got to give yourself a little bit of of yourself a little bit of grace you know and but you're doing it and i'm really proud of your cancer i think this is fantastic because um this is hard for you to face this has been a tough thing for you to face it's required it's requiring a lot of strength and courage courage because there's a bit of fear of the unknown here okay um both of these cards are suggesting you feel defensive you know you feel vulnerable both of these cards all right so in the future the end of July or beginning of August first week of August you have the princess of wands I really like to see this under the three of wands where you're waiting you know you're waiting you're not really moving yet you're ready for the right time the, the signal you know whatever it is and here this is eager, ready to take action. Just tell me, like, oh, that way? Okay. You want me to do this? Okay. You know, this is very, um, uh, very confident, almost a little too confident in a way, but courageous and ready to face whatever, ready to move forward, you know, and eager eager to move forward this is really great energy after this three of wands then you have the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles you might you could be low on funds right now on money on um you you could be waiting for um the fruits of your labor you know uh you're waiting for some sort of you could be waiting for some sort of money to come in or uh, something to come back to you um in some way <laughs> i guess i get a positive yeah. hold on right let's try this again so you know you could be um trying to not spend too much money you know trying to spend wisely you're trying to keep some sort of money aside for what your plans are you also could have gotten some sort of a a message that you know a, a work message an opportunity here to you know to um refill this right refill this now refill your stock uh it gets you to the eight of pentacles which is i think more work you're getting you know news of more work and you've been trying to be very careful with your money here okay this is really good news for you you're really happy about this this is something to celebrate but i think you might be doing it at your on your own at this time okay um it allows you some sort of freedom you're able to move forward with your plans <clears throat> 
and then we have the tower like i said the tower the the how this affects you or how you see this is depends completely on this devil energy you know you're trying to build up the strength and courage to get by this devil to to move forward and heal and get stronger you know and and this is what your your challenge is here and this uh tower could be a very good surprise for you a very good energy um free from your confines of the devil you know this was not a good place for you whatever that place is that energy the 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 you know the the thing that was keeping you from your destined path like i said and then the queen of swords this could be an air sign around you aquarius libra or gemini but i think it's more your energy cancer i think you're more serious now it's fun it's funny you started with this really youthful playful energy that was about free and having fun and now you're um much more serious you know you i think you're you're a, a, a more spiritual there's this more spiritual energy this air energy it's um you know you you think things through you um are very logical now a lot wiser um you also you're you're really honest i think you're ready to face the truth at this point about yourself uh, whatever okay uh, where you're heading to you know you go from the prince of pentacles to the queen of swords v from feeling you know vulnerable and fearful to very strong uh spiritual um you know and not so dependent on your emotions not not so um driven by your feelings this is more logical more logically driven you're you're like i said you're you've elevated spiritually too something about this uh tower is good for you you know it's good for you you're you're getting there you know you're building up the strength and the courage and you're ready she's got that beautiful tattoo on her arm that's about expansion you know and change right so okay this is already 28 minutes in i'm going to take a card from the oracle of visions for you and wrap it up it's starting to get dark here it's about like eight something almost eight starting to i'm losing the light i'm losing the light i do have an inside light i could turn on but anyway tell me for cancer what does cancer need to know here for july 2021 what do all my cancers need to know this is tank talking I'm tank talking to you Tell me for cancer. This cancer need no what can help them? You know. Ooh, see that? There's two. There are two. So the first one is 44. Really, really, really beautiful. Look at that. You know, she's walking with all these swans, and she looks very different than all the swans. They're all beautiful, and she's beautiful too. But she's not hiding. She's proud to be who she is, even though she's different. Okay, I'm going to read you what it says. And then you have number 30. Hmm, very mysterious. Very mysterious. You see the panther in the background there? And this cloaked woman. She, she it seems like she's, um,
it seems like she's protecting her heart but i don't know these cards very well so let's get the book the first one was 44 44 what's this 43 44 okay unison common goals shared values at one with others this card shows us a sense of belonging. We're at one with our surroundings and our relationship with others. We can move together with a common direction and purpose. Our presence is accepted and welcome. A young girl glides effortlessly through a, goat, a gated lake in the companionship of a group of swans. Their speed and direction in unison, they become of one mind. They symbolize finding new friends or a group who share similar ideas. There is a strong affinity with their, with other like-minded souls. But be wary of becoming just one of many. At some point, their actions, their directions, and their pace may not be yours. Where are they leading? Where they are leading may not be the best path for you. Hmm. And the other one is 30, 30, oops, 30. Danger and fear, okay? In the darkness, our fears feed from us and grow. Our imaginations nourish them and give them form. In return, they can weaken us further or trigger our defenses. This sense a clear take on Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, this scene reinforces the concept that danger may, all, may not always be obvious. It may be hidden or disguised. In some cases, we are utterly fooled or taken by dis surprise and will suffer the consequences. But very often we have a sense that all is not right, that something is out of place. Our basic instincts are triggered and our senses are alerted. In this t in, is this the time for caution or boldness? Is all as it should be? Is he all that he claims to be? Is this offer too good to be true? So... <laughs> It's really about trusting your senses there, you know, and I think that's somewhat what the strength is about, you know, trusting your senses. The Queen of Wands says to, um, you know, she's very aware of her surroundings she is observant she listens and watches people and it's not in a weird way it's because she's careful she's smart right you know so um but there is time for boldness to to act to have courage and and even though it's new it's something you haven't done before you know i think that you're going to be okay because a lot of these cards are very good for you here so cancer i hope you have enjoyed this video i'm so sorry it's so late um if it resonates for you comment below you know i always like to see your comments and read all of them um and of course like share subscribe and all of that stuff it helps me a lot and i really appreciate it so have a good birthday let me know about this stuff uh it's very interesting and good on you you know good on you getting braver and braver bye now talk to you soon